pretty much started conducting when I was three, because uh, there was the Verdi Requiem going on in the sitting room at my parents' house. And uh, they caught me uh, standing on a chair with a knitting needle, and I was thrashing away to Verdi Requiem. My first job was in Finland, and I went as a French horn player, and then all of a sudden the conductor couldn't get there for some reason, so they all decided that I was going to conduct them. And uh, everywhere I went, people kept asking me to conduct. And the way that, that my career has gone is that now the University of Chichester have been fantastic in giving me a post of Head of Orchestral Studies. And it means that I can uh, develop ensemble playing at the university. The music department in Chichester is quite special in that it puts a lot of resources into the ensemble and the performance aspects. Other universities run their orchestras um, a bit differently. A lot of universities audition the principal players and then other people can get in. But for the Chamber Orchestra in Chichester, um, we audition everybody. And it was really important to get into the Chamber Orchestra. I really wanted to be part of um, a higher standard of playing. I wanted to be able to perform to the best of my ability. Well, I was um, involved in orchestras in the university right from the start. And I think Crispin decided that you really had to be more selective. And uh, admission was by audition. It was the only a fair way to do it. What we're trying to instill on the students is a sense of professionalism, a way of working that's exciting, that's innovative. This is the glimpse of the professional life that is. You come into rehearsal, you sit down, you're ready, and the battle goes down, that's it, you play. rehearse uh, for a long time on a weekend and we bring tutors into the orchestra. It gives the students the confidence to come in and play like they think they should. And if you've got someone you know, playing exceptionally well, then, then you're sitting next to them, you're going to do the same thing. One of the important things we're doing with the orchestra is to try and get them to play outside of their comfort zone and to make them understand that you have to produce a professional performance wherever it is, however tired you are or how, whatever you're thinking. These are paying public who have paid to come and see them perform very well. Well, I think um, Chichester, like many other institutions in England, you know, are blessed with great teaching staff great visiting staff, uh, visiting musicians that come and perform here. And, you know, fantastic musicians like Crispin. He is a professional conductor and it's really nice of it, to be honest, because the rehearsals are strict, the rehearsals are on time. They need the support and they need me to be very, very clear. Crispin Ward has been both uh, inspirational and very instructive. He's passionate about music, he's passionate about this orchestra. And we want to perform well for him. So you've got some very young and very enthusiastic students who are desperate to do well and discover this music for the first time. And that can be a hugely exciting uh, performance. Yeah.